Since the router is the center of your home network, you first need to decide where to put it. If you already have a cable or DSL modem in your home, the router will go right next to it, since they have to be connected with an Ethernet cable. If you have the option of moving your modem, you want to put it near the center of your house. This will give you the best wireless signal coverage, increasing connectivity of all your computers to the network, and giving you faster file transfer speeds between your computers. On the back of the router, you will find a power connection, four LAN ports for connecting computers near the router with Ethernet cables, one WAN, or Internet port, which is where the router will connect to the modem, and a reset switch that we'll talk about in Section 3. The router comes with the Ethernet cable we'll need to connect the modem to the router. On the back of the cable or DSL modem, you will find an Ethernet port labeled Ethernet or LAN. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable to this port on the modem. On the back of the router, connect the other end of the Ethernet cable to the WAN or Internet port. To get the modem and router to see each other correctly, we need to reset the modem. Before we do this, take a look at the modem and note which lights flash and which stay on constantly. To reset the modem, unplug the power cable from the back of the modem for about 15 seconds and plug it back in. The lights on the front of the modem will turn on, flash some, and then start flashing intermittently, just like they were before you reset the modem. Next, plug the router's power adapter into the wall outlet and plug the circular power connector into the power connection on the back of the router. The lights on the front of the router will turn on, flash some, and settle into a routine, some flashing and some not. That's all the physical connections between the modem and the router. The modem and the router are located in a home office right next to a desktop computer. We're going to use this computer's built-in Ethernet adapter to connect to the router using an Ethernet cable. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable into the Ethernet port on the computer. Plug the other end into the number one Ethernet port on the router. On the front of the router, an indicator will light up, letting us know the number one port is connected to a computer. Back on the desktop, we also see a light indicating a connection. In Section 3, we will configure the router using this desktop computer. But first, let's get all the other computers ready for the network by installing the wireless network adapters.